Hello everybody, my name is Joe Biziani and I'm the Vice President of University Affairs in the Undergraduate Student Government here at Stony Brook. I'm here today with President McGinnis and we are here to do a fireside chat regarding the recent $500 million endowment from the Simons Foundation. How are you today? I'm great. How are you, Joe? I'm doing great. Good. So let's get right into it. So in June of this year, the Simons Foundation, a philanthropy working to advance research in mathematics and the basic sciences, announced a huge $500 million endowment to Stony Brook University during their news conference in Manhattan. To start, can you please define endowment for all the students watching? Yeah, happy to do so, Joe. So an endowment is like a bank account in many ways, except in this endowment, in this bank account, you're never gonna spend the principal. So imagine that you've put $100 into a savings account, and in your first year, it earns 4% interest. The next year, you now have $4 that you can spend. That's essentially how an endowment works. It is a savings account for an institution's future. And endowments at universities tend to come in two different types. There are restricted and unrestricted funds. So currently, Stony Brook has an endowment of about $360 million. And almost all of that money is what we would call restricted. The individual who gave the money said what the money was to be spent for, right? It is a scholarship supporting students in a particular department, right? Or it might be an endowment for a faculty member who is doing research in a particular subject. That is considered restricted. Part of what is so remarkable about Jim and Marilyn Simon's gift is that it is unrestricted, meaning that we will be able to make decisions about the most important places to invest in strategic priorities that are going to continue to support excellence at Stony Brook. Okay, great. So with endowments, has there ever been one like this before for Stony Brook University? Absolutely not to Stony Brook University, and it is the largest unrestricted endowment gift in the history of American higher education. That is an extraordinary thing for Stony Brook University, a real statement of the belief that Jim and Marilyn Simons and David Spurgle, who is president of the Simons Foundation, the faith they have and the belief they have in Stony Brook University and the interest they have in ensuring that Stony Brook is excellent for decades and even centuries to come. That's great. In what ways is the university funded? Where can these funds be directed towards? Will they go towards faculty and advisor staffing, student programming, educational advancements, or are they going to be towards other areas? Yeah, it's a great question um, and one that will be determined in the future. Um, so we've got a pledge for an endowment gift, but it's not like we already have the money in the bank. So the first 200 million of the Simons gift is one that is a challenge to our other alumni, friends, and supporters. So the idea is that in order to unlock the first $200 million of the Simons gift, we need to now raise $200 million, right? So it's a kind of matching challenge. And the state also has a matching challenge. And so if we are successful in raising that $200 million from other friends, then we will unlock the $200 million from the Simons and unlock another $100 million from the state. I so see. that's step one. Then once all that money's in the bank and interest begins to be earned and there is money to spend, then we will be able to determine what are the most important strategic priorities of the institution at that moment for us to invest in. So you listed a lot of things it could be spent on. It could be spent in support of faculty and their research. It could be spent in support of students or programming for students. There are many different things that it can be spent on because the Simons money was given to us unrestricted. 
the gift from other people may come in restricted. I see. That's great. Are any of Simon's research programs and internships planning to be expanded with this endowment? For many years, Jim and Marilyn Simons and the Simons Foundation have been very generous to this campus community. And they have made a number of important commitments and financial commitments to this institution that have allowed us to build up areas of excellence. Certainly a great example of that is the Simon Center for Geometry and Physics. So at the moment, there are no plans to expand any of those programs, but there is obviously a deep commitment from us that we want those programs to remain strong because they have long been places that have helped build the reputation for Stony Brook and are the places that attract great faculty and students to come to us. Awesome. I've heard from students here on campus that the Simons Foundation's donation may provide benefits to them during their time studying here. However, they're not sure. Will this donation show any results within the next four years or is it going to take a little longer? Yeah, so it is gonna be slow. As I said, we don't have any of the money in the bank yet. It is on us to raise money. As we raise money from other friends and alumni and that comes in, that will also be money that will be invested and the interest income can be spent from that. So it will ramp up slowly and a lot of it has to do with how successful we are in and also how quickly we are able to encourage our other friends, alumni and supporters um, to make their own gifts to Stony Brook's endowment. Awesome. And last but not least, what are you most excited about this endowment? I know there's been a lot of talk about it. It was a huge announcement. What does it mean for our campus community and how will this improve our status as a research institution moving forward? Yeah, I think this gift is going to make such a huge difference for Stony Brook, both now and in the future. Because even though there isn't money immediately available to spend, it is a gift that got nationwide attention. And what that gift said was that Jim and Marilyn Simons and David Spurgel of the Simons Foundation believe that this is a great institution worth investing in, that this is an institution of excellence and that they want it to remain an institution of excellence for the future. And so that's an enormous statement about us that has immediate um, impact on this campus. And then with time, as the Simons money rolls in, as the state match also comes to our endowment, as our other friends and supporters make gifts to our endowment, what we are building is the stability of Stony Brook's future. So that future presidents and future leaders of this institution will have the opportunity to make investments where it is needed most at that moment for the future of the institution. I can attest on behalf of the entire student body that we are all very excited to see what comes with this endowment. It has been a pleasure talking to you and thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Joe. A pleasure talking with you.